give him a mask. And he will tell you the truth. Nazi free. <coughs> Seek truth. You're right, Scully. Since it's never a good idea to base your life's decisions on false information, it is imperative that we insist on seeking truth, even when it's too hard to face. Now, what I'm about to say, I'm gonna say with all due respect, especially to religious people, particularly family, friends, and certain viewers of my channel, but I've got t-shirts for sale. Sorry to shoehorn that in, but in my quest to usher in a worldwide atheist enlightenment, I need to make a living too. You are truly the wisest skull ring I've ever owned. And you too can have a scully of your own and remind yourself and others of this life-saving advice every time you wear this shirt or even drink from this mug, which you could buy on teespring.com slash free by clicking on the link below this video. Okay, now that I've got that shameless sales pitch out of the way, <clears throat> let's get to the heart of the matter, which is to convince the entire human species of what some of us already know, but are more than willing to share with the rest of humanity, and that is that all religions are false because there is no God. Nachi, why must you forsake me? I am Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Only a fool says in his heart there is no God. Oh, Jesus, go to hell. I'm so sick and tired of these sanctimonious, subjugating Catholic guilt trips that have haunted me since my childhood. And look, I don't wanna be one of those obnoxious, angry atheists either, okay? I already went through that phase in the early 2000s after listening to the irrefutable wisdom of men such as Richard Dawkins, Christopher Hitchens, Sam Harris, and HBO's one and only house nigga, Bill Maher, who helped smash many of these falsehoods that have held humanity back for thousands of years. But what more proof do we need that these men were right about the toxic effects of religious indoctrination other than the recent Islamic inspired terrorist attacks in London and Baghdad and Afghanistan and the Philippines that have claimed the lives of over 149 people during the holy month of Ramadan alone. And then the backlash that ensues by some people who get it in their heads that we're in the middle of some modern day holy crusade. People like Jeremiah Joseph Christian, whose name couldn't be more ironic considering his felonious crime of stabbing two men to death on a bus after they came to the defense of two Muslim women whom Jeremy was harassing. And I get it, it's not all Christians or Muslims who think this way. And even the few who do take it upon themselves to go off on suicide missions to kill people in public are usually mentally deranged, but the scientifically unfounded religious ideas bouncing around in their skulls doesn't help either. Ah, so how do you propose ridding the world of religion, you insolent infidel? That's a very good question, Mohammed. It's not gonna be easy, that's for sure, but we need to try something, anything, to finally convince people that life is definitely worth living without these verifiably false belief systems. I know you can't prove a negative, but you can falsify bullshit. And the very tenets of every single major religion are so obviously untrue that it speaks volumes of how easily the majority of people can be manipulated and won't dare think for themselves. And the sad thing is that many people follow their religions not out of faith, but out of fear. It's not for nothing why here in the United States it's almost a point of pride to be called a God-fearing Christian. And part of the reason why many Muslims get on their knees five times a day is not simply out of reverence for Muhammad, but because the punishment for apostasy in Islam is death. And that's why it is imperative that if there's ever to be an atheist enlightenment, it needs to be peaceful and respectful towards other people. Though I think ridiculing religious ideas is fair game. It has to be. It's bound to happen as you try to show people not only how false, but how silly these ideas are. Yet there's a fine line between shaming religious ideas and insulting religious people or antagonizing them into debates. After all, no one becomes an atheist overnight because it's very difficult to shake off years of religious indoctrination that end up shaping people's entire lives. And it's not like you can imbue anyone with the spirit of reason, but we can chip away at the ignorance little by little with every patient respectful dialogue we have with religious people. And now is the time since many religious people, including Muslims, are equally sick and tired of seeing these needless acts of terrorism happening almost every other week in the news, which we should never learn to accept and live with. And it's during those inevitable conversations, after the headlines flash across our text messages and Facebook pages, where it's important to remind people that these events are happening thanks to religion. And sure, there may be socioeconomic and geopolitical factors at play, but make no mistake, if everyone could see through the bullshit that is every single religion, none of these recent jihadi-inspired attacks would have happened. And spare me the deflection that, statistically speaking, you have a higher chance of being killed by a toddler with a gun in the United States than you do by a terrorist. 
Toddlers aren't leading a centuries-long jihad against the infidels, which is why we can't keep on excusing the inexcusable. But if anyone has any other ideas on how to help kickstart a global and peaceful atheist enlightenment to finally rid the world of the glorified willful ignorance which is every single man-made religion, please let me know in the comments down below. And thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe by clicking on my face. And if you want to support this channel, click on the Patreon logo or donate via paypal.me slash homegrown.